So I'm here at Genetics Supercup driver David Pittard. So David, you did uh, your first race uh, earlier on today and you, uh, well, couldn't have done much better. No, definitely not. Um, the car was absolutely fantastic yesterday. Uh, we managed to put it on pole by quite a margin and uh, that gave me the confidence that as long as I could get the start right, I'd uh, be able to manage a comfortable, comfortable gap. Uh, the safety car kind of uh, threw a spanner in the works for that plan, but uh, I think it helped settle me a little bit get a bit more uh, warmth in the tyres as well and uh, even though it was my first safety car restart I managed to absolutely nail it and, and get quite a big gap on the field and uh, from then on it was just a case of watching my mirror and uh, I was still pulling away so it gave me a good confidence to just bring the car home to the end. Now uh, you've got a teammate uh, this weekend in Josh Cook because the Cleos are uh, don't, don't race here. Was it fun being a teacher, so to speak? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I do a lot of coaching in between sort of race meetings. It's uh, how I earn my keep. And uh, uh, it was a bit, bit of a surprise to see Josh uh, take into a, a proper race car this weekend, opposed to his Clio. Um, but I think he's adapted to the car really, really well. Um, and looking at the data, he's, he's extremely close to me. Um, so it's just trying to help him to find those extra little bits, things that I was struggling with at the very beginning of the year. Um, that he's got to try and learn this weekend and I think he's doing a, a, a great job um, to do that and obviously the more I can coach him the more he can hopefully get up the field and take some points off my championship rivals. Now are you a uh, speak of championship uh, you've got a bit of a battle with uh, Andrew Watson going on at, at the minute uh, obviously that win definitely uh, helps you in that. Yeah yeah definitely it's a uh, pole position fastest that point and the win so I think we gained a good 17 points uh, no seven points on him I think which will bring the, the gap back up again after it uh, went a little bit down after Rockingham so that's the main aim at the moment we pulled some good points from Carl Breeze as well so we're close, slowly closing him down as well so uh, it looks a big uh, points deficit but I don't think anything's over until the final round. Now uh, you speak of the final round, do you think you've uh, won that race, do you think by the end of the season you'll be uh, holding the big trophy? Charlie, Charlie's almost got it wrapped up I think, all he needs to do is finish, so uh, I needed him to have a, a good uh, couple of offs uh, for me to catch up with him, but uh, all I can do is um, win the races and that's what I've done today so far, that's the plan later on this afternoon, so uh, keep doing our best and see what else happens to other people. Okay, thank you very much for your time, David, and we look very forward to talking to you uh, later on today about your second win. That's the plan. Thank you very much, Lee.